What's up guys, welcome to V-Sexualization, Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Quick question, did you know that we can reference multiple columns in the same predicate in Calculate? Yes, this is possible after the March 2021 Power BI update, but there is a caveat there. These multiple columns must belong to the same table. So, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have four different points. The first one here is about the syntax sugar. The second point, we're gonna talk about the complete calculated syntax. Third point here, we're gonna learn about referencing multiple columns in the same predicate. And finally, guys, as always, there is a really nice case where we're gonna put everything into practice. All right, let's go to the first point. Let's talk about the syntax sugar. According to Marco Russo and Alberto Ferrari, the syntax sugar is more convenient, shorter, and easier to read. As you guys can see here, this is just an example. We are getting here profit just for Germany. This is the measure. So we have the calculated function here. We have the expression, which is total profit. And then right away, we have right here the filter. And for this particular case, we are filtering just for Germany, right? So quite straightforward, convenient, shorter, and easier to read. So now let's go to the next point. Let's talk about the complete calculated syntax here. Like it says right here, it's useful to read filters arguments as tables if you are learning calculate for the first time. As you guys can see here, there is another example as well. And we have the calculated function here. The expression is total profit. And we have right here two additional functions. We have the filter function and we also have the all function. So the filter function is going to give us a table as a result. And then within the filter function, we have the all function here. And this is basically removing any filters within the country column. And then the other piece of the code here is about the filter, which is for this particular case, country, Germany. And like it says right here, if this is the first time that you're learning the calculated function, so this is gonna be very helpful for you, okay? So now let's go to the next point. Referencing multiple columns in the same predicate. As you guys can see here, here we have the two syntaxes, right? The first one on the top, this is the complete calculated syntax. The one on the bottom is the syntax sugar, right? The shorter one. So a couple of things here, in the past and now. So what happened in the past? This perfectly worked in DAX. Now, the same thing, it's still working. But let's take a look at the uh, syntax on the bottom here. In the past, this syntax was not possible because we have right here multiple columns. Part of the filter, we are referencing multiple columns, right? These two columns, country and segment, these columns belong to the same table called financial. But in the past, this was not possible. So now we can add multiple columns here in the same predicate, right? And for this particular case, we are using the or logical operator, which is two vertical lines here. So guys, please keep this in mind because we're gonna be using this syntax, okay? To solve the case. So now let's go to the next point. All right, so now let's take a look at the case, my friends. So the question that we have here is find total profit for Germany or government. In addition, apply the following filters. So we have three filters here, dates, product, and also unit sold. So guys, please keep this in mind because we're gonna be using these filters. Now let's go to Power BI Desktop. Okay, so here we are in Power BI Desktop and let's start working on this. Before we got started working on this, as always, let's take a quick look at the tables that we have. Here we have the financials table and this table is part of Power BI Desktop. If you guys wanna play with that, you can download from Power BI Desktop, okay? And we also have the dimension table called date. This is also called calendar table. 
and we also have another table here called measures okay so three tables here and we already have a couple of visuals here we have a slicer and we also have a table what else for dax measures we also have a measure created so this is just a basic measure we are summing profit right having that as a reference my friends let's start playing with the code so the first thing that we want to do here is to create a measure okay right click new measure so it's loading so it's right there so we're going to call this profit germany government okay To solve this question, we're going to use both syntaxes, okay? We're going to use the complete calculated syntax and also we're going to use the syntax sugar. So let's do that. So we're going to use right here calculate, of course. So we are referencing here the first measure that was already created, okay, which is total profit. And now let's start playing with the filters. Remember here we are using the complete calculate syntax, okay? So we need to use filter here. Remember guys, for the first filter, we need to use Germany or government. So let's do that. So we need to remove any filters that belong to country, right? Because Germany is part of country. Then we need to reference the other column here called segment because government is part of segment, okay? All right, close parenthesis here, comma. Again, we need to apply the filters here, right? You guys remember here? So country, for country, this should be Germany, right? Okay, there you go. And now we need to use the OR operator, the logical OR operator. Remember that? So let's use this one right here, perfect. And now we need to apply the other filter here, which is segment, and this should be government, okay? Because this is text, we need to use quotation marks there, all right? So let's make sure that we are spelling everything correctly there. And now, I think we are good to go for the first filter. There you go. So that's how it works, guys. Let's keep applying the two additional filters and let's do this quickly, okay? So we just finished our second filter here, right? And we use the N operator there, the N logical operator, okay? So now let's finish with the third filter, okay? There you go, we just finished with the third filter and now let's close the calculated function here, okay? There you go, let's hit enter and see what happens. It seems like it's working, so let's double check that. So let's add right here a card, this one right here, and let's reference the measure that we just created, okay? Boom, there it is. So that's the second measure, my friends. So now we can customize this if we want. There it is, that's better. 
Remember that we just used the complete calculate syntax. Now let's use the syntax sugar. So let's do that. The same thing here, right click, new measure. So let's name this measure as profit Germany government two, okay? So right there, I'll enter. There you go. So we're gonna use the calculate function here as well. And then we need to reference total profit. So this is the first measure that was already created. And now let's start applying the filters. Remember, we are referencing here multiple columns for a specific filter. Let's do that. It's gonna be very similar to what we did uh, with the complete calculate syntax. But remember, we are not using filter and the old function anymore. All right, so let's let country here. And country, if you guys remember, this should be Germany, right? So Germany there. The OR operator, logical operator, should be right there. And also we need to reference segment here. And this should be, this should be government, right? There you go. Perfect, we just finished our first filter, comma here. Our next filter, let's keep working on this. This is gonna be date, right here, greater or equal to, if you guys remember, this should be 2014. January 1st, right? Perfect. Then we need to use the end logical operator right there. Perfect. And we need to keep using here the date column from the calendar table. And this should be less or equal to 2014, same year here. August, right? And then 22nd, there you go. And then we can make a couple of adjustments here. There you go, comma here. We just finished our second filter. So now let's finish with the third filter here. So if you guys remember product, for product here, we need to use Amarela, right? There you go. Remember this is text and it should be in quotation marks. And here we need to use the logical operator as well, the end logical operator. And then we need to reference unit sold, right? Greater or equal to 500 greater or equal to 500 all right so let's make the adjustments here there you go so now we can close parentheses here and this should be closing basically the calculate function right i'll enter close parentheses there you go so let's approve these changes and see what happens hit enter so now let's do something really cool here let's copy this Control c Control V, there you go. And now let's remove this measure and let's select the latest measure. All right, so what's going on here? So we are getting two different results. So let's double check the code here. So let's go back to the measure that we just created. It's right there. Let's expand this. It seems like it's totally fine here. So let's go back to the second measure uh-huh if you guys see right here this should be greater or equal to okay there you go let's see what happens so now the numbers should match boom there it is my friends so by using these two different syntaxes we are getting the same results right and like we said before if you guys are familiar with this function already with calculate and also you are familiar with filters, how filters work, you might wanna use the 
syntax sugar. All right, so if we apply a couple of filters here, let's say, let's take a look at January and let's see what happens. So nothing changes, right? Why? So what's going on there? See right there? This is happening because the calculated function is modifying the filter context. That's why. So let's do something really cool here before we leave because I know you guys love DAX. So let's drag this into the table and then the other measure as well. See right there? Perfect. So that's what's happening, right? So these filters that you guys are seeing here are not being reflected because the calculated function has modified the filter context. Let's say that I wanna keep some filters here. How do we do that? The best way to do that is by using the keep filters function. Let's go back to the measure here, okay, that we just created right there. So, and let's add right here, keep filters. So this is, remember, this is a bonus, my friends, because I know you love DAX. So let's do that, and let's do the same here for the other two filters, okay? And then we're gonna see something amazing that happens here, okay? So right there, keep filters, and the same thing here. Boom. Let's hit enter, okay? Boom, my friends. Now, if we keep applying filters here, because we have this slicer, right? So let's say that we want to filter just for January. Check this out. Ah, see right there? This is the measure that we applied keep filters, right? So we now see that this is changing. See right there? So what's happening? Germany, Germany right here, negative. We got losses there, but also for government here, we have about 20,000. In the end, we're still losing money there, right? How about April? See, that's how it works. How about May? There you go. So basically, if we use keep filters, so the external filters that we have in the Power BI report will be able to work, okay? So guys, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you find this helpful? All right, so let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there, okay? All right, guys, I hope you found this content helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave your questions and comments below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you, guys, and see you in my next tutorial.